It's your boy's first trip to Lodi Comic Con. Let's check it out. Toby loves stuff where he talks about the things that he loves. What's going on, it's your boy? Here on location at Lodi Comic Con 2021. This is the first Comic Con I've been to in maybe two years for sure since pre pandemic. And uh, looking forward to it. Looking forward to hanging out with some great people. Let's get to it. A little bit earlier, and uh, right when they opened, Maybe when the first couple hundred people in, it was not as hot as it would be later on in the day. It was about 95 to 110 during the day. Super hot. The first time out being out there at the Lodi Comic Con. We start filling up till later, but uh, as you can see from here, at first it was pretty sparse. You're able to walk around, get to see the booths, and it was real cool. All right, so I did a first walkthrough, and uh, it was pretty cool. Not a lot of comics at the comic book con. Mostly toys and like shirts and stuff, which is cool, but like I'm here for some comics, you know what I'm saying? I want to read stuff. Picked up one thing so far. I'll do it at pick at the end of the video, but yeah, let's keep going. As I said, like on location there, not a lot of comics at the comic book convention. It was mostly about collectibles and stuff like that, which is cool, but your boy wanted to get some graphic novels, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm there for, for the comics, the reads. Eventually, I did find some comics and some cool finds in there. I'll show you in a minute. But by far, one of the coolest things I got to do was meet the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. He was a real nice dude, too. All right, going to show you uh, some of the stuff I picked up while out there at the Lodi Comic Con. I don't know if this was the first year, but it was the first year that I attended. Anyway, when you walked in, they gave you this pretty cool poster. Uh, you know, it got a little beat up in the bag I had, but... Uh, it was a nice little add-on they threw out when you got your tickets. So that was awesome. Now, even though I was there for the comics, that didn't mean your boy didn't skimp on the collectibles and the figures and whatnot. You know what I mean? If you look behind me here, you can see that I like all that stuff. And this was no different. I picked up Vader. It's Vader time. <laughs> Frankie Stacchino's Pops from Boy Meets World. I did get this figure uh, at a pretty good discount. He's in the stores. He's pretty expensive, at least to me. So I got him almost 50% off from what you see in the stores. He did come with his accessories. He has a cool little helmet here. If you know, you know, early NWA, uh, late NWA, early WCW days. So cool, Vader was a nice find. He's gonna look good up on the shelf. Now I picked up this next figure for super cheap. I have no idea where it's from, but I got him because he looks like me. Like, look, let me take off my glasses, right? mad face anyway so like the guy was like oh i want x amount of dollars i was like would you take this because he looks like me and the dude was like oh he kind of does look like you all right and then so if anyone knows where this character is from please let me know down in the comments section because that would be awesome now your boy had to get some comics on this comic book convention eventually i did find some comic books and uh, i found a cool little dollar bin so i got tales of the gi joe number 10 uh, I like G.I. Joe, always have, always will, and that seemed like a decent read. I did get the Mighty Thor. This is number 380. That's Fing Fang Foom on the cover, who he's battling. And uh, I've been reading Walt Simonson's run on Thor on Marvel Unlimited. I just finished it not too long ago. Don't have the omnibus or any of the trades or anything, but I really wanted something to represent that, and I saw this for only a buck, so how could I pass it up? It was a great read. The whole run, all like 40 plus issues was a great run. And I highly recommend it. I might do a whole video on that one day, but we'll see. Picked up a few Marvel Legends. As you can see over here, I'm kind of getting into the Marvel Legends and uh, picked up some good finds. This is The Thing from Fantastic Four. The only member of the FF that I actually care about and like. This was a good pickup and I got him for a sweet, sweet deal. Finally. Like, I went in looking for a few Marvel Legends, and this was one of them, and I can't believe I found it for such a good price. This is Angel, or Archangel, from the X-Men. If you know the channel, you know Tommy Reads X-Men is a show where I read each issue of X-Men and get my own unique take on it. I was looking for this legend here. I got him and the thing together as a little, uh, you know, bundle, and it was a great price. I think the guy couldn't do the math fast enough to, you know, he's like, oh, okay, I guess. And uh, this is going to look great up on the shelf here. So that's my pickups for the Lodi Comic Con. I had a great time. I was with my family. We all hadn't seen each other in quite a bit. 
uh, especially for at least a year because of the pandemic and all that. So it was great being with the people I care about the most and uh, seeing some good stuff, some cool comics, some cool toys. It was a good time. I would definitely go back again. Hopefully it's not as hot because that wore your boy out. But I had a great time and I think everyone else did too. If you like what you're seeing or are mildly entertained, please like and subscribe down here. Hit the bell notification in the corner. I don't know exactly where it's at. And do your boy a favor. Help spread the word about the Tommy Love Stuff channel. YouTube's best kept secret. I ain't lying about that. And uh, we got a lot of great stuff on this channel. Check the playlist. Like I said earlier, Tommy Reads X-Men, show where I uh, do my own reviews of different X-Men issues one by one. If you like food reviews, we have the ChubCon reviews where I try snacks and different foods for your viewing pleasure. And if this is your first time watching, thank you for letting me entertain you for a little bit. If this is your 60th or 70th time watching, I appreciate the support. Continue to do so. We'll be back with another video again later. Till then, like I said, check the playlist for all the great stuff we got on the channel. Later.